Wilson Morales from Black from TV. Hello, ladies. How's it going? It's good. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, obviously, you're no stranger to directing. You've been doing it in the last few years. What made you decide to take on this project and this particular story? Yeah, um, well, I directed a short before, and it was a really wonderful program where we got to go to uh, Toronto Film Festival for its premiere. But even still, with that experience under my belt, I was still extremely nervous about approaching this. Um, and it really, I think, all came together when we found the right story to tell, which was Sophia's, because it's a story that I relate to personally, and I have generations of women in my family that had similar experiences. And so it was one that I knew so personally, and it was a real uh, privilege because I got to then really lean into being a creative to figure out what are ways to tell this story. And I mean, Sophia offered so much about her life and her journey. I think the hardest part was figuring out how do we tailor it down while still being authentic, while still communicating this story, um, because there's so much that we could get into, so much that we even did get into in our conversations. Um, uh, but it was extremely fun to dive into a, a part of the creative process that I've always admired for so long uh, and to be a part of such a collaborative set. My, my Bubba's a DP and director, um, and so he was on set. My mother's an executive producer, so I leaned into all the support I could get, and everybody on set was so wonderful um, and made it such an incredible experience. <laughs> and Sophia, obviously, you know, how did you get chosen to tell your story? Did you want to tell your story? And it takes a turn midway. Like, first I'm like, oh, we're hearing a story about being a nerd. I, I think I can relate to that as well, to some extent. And then it's, midway, you're like, oh, there's a story here that's in terms of sexual abuse. I'm like, oh, we're going somewhere else. But then we come back to, you know, I think everybody's stories about insecurities and finding confidence to be who they are, you know? So mm -hmm. what would led you to tell your story for this project? Yeah, so I mean, I really wanted there to be other little Black girls who look at the screen and be like, my growing up story is not an anomaly. My existence in this world, my existence in whatever field that I want to pursue is not an anomaly. And that they can know that like, because not just because I've gone through this, but because everyone who's on this show has gone through this. And there's so many intersections between our stories that we should be able to, uh, within our communities, um, go through the growing up process together, not as an isolated um, uh, unit. And then I also think what's really great about this story is that I'm able to combine both like the nerdy side of me and then also like the change making side of me where it's like, I, I feel like oftentimes people in marginalized communities want to be able to use um, their skill set to be able to change not like necessarily like the world or whatever, but change a world, change their communities, change um, the frameworks that they typically occupy. And I think that being able to use code to do that, I think also shows people that like, it's not like the like musty old, like white guy, like hunched over at his computer at like two in the morning, eating like ramen noodles in the dark. Like it's, it's me, it's every, it's people who look like me. It's people who want to be used, able to use this skill set to be able to bring support to communities that oftentimes um, lack that support. And Yara, after you finish completing this, particular project what did you learn from it you can take on to the next project you hopefully direct well I mean quite honestly uh the project resonated in so many ways because as we were discussing imposter syndrome I was moving through an imposter syndrome of my own and figuring out what I had to offer to this project and what I had to contribute and so quite honestly I think the biggest thing it gave me <laughs> was the confidence I was learning the lesson as we were filming it in terms of knowing that I had the confidence and that you know, I underestimate how much I pay attention. I literally sit on set and every Gronish season, I choose one department to basically just like bother the entire time until I know everything about how that department functions. And long story short, um, it was nice to go through such a supportive experience because I think it allowed me to realize that I didn't need to be questioning the decisions I make as a director. And if anything, uh, that I do have a lot to contribute in terms of voice and perspective. And it's quite honestly, the arc of the episode and the idea that, you know, we need people like Sophia in coding and people like me in directing because there's something that's lost when you don't have a multitude of perspectives, uh, opinions and, and topics that are overlooked. I think there's a lot that everybody's going to get from watching this because everybody has a story to tell and they can see different directions from it. So congratulations to both of you for telling your stories and for being behind the scene. Take Thank care. Thank you. Yeah.